This is a smaller, tight-knit group of individuals that really represent the country. It doesn't matter what age you are, if you're willing to win, you're willing to put your best effort. It's not how hard you get hit. I ended up fracturing my thumb. They suspected that he had Crohn's. It's how hard you get hit and get knocked down and get up again. We don't take days off. That's right, strength, no weakness. Sky's kind of the limit. Get ready, because today we are taking a look at some of our future prodigies and pros. From fast feet on the field to hitting the gridiron, this is No Days Off. If I can make it to the NFL, I will. He can do things that a lot of people can't. Even in quarantine, I'm still working. I'm still staying at the top of my game. Whatever he put his mind to something, he give 110 percent. That's the biggest thing. For him. You always gotta keep working, unless you fall to the bottom, and it'll probably be hard to make it back to the top. My name is Jaden Jefferson. I'm 12 years old, and I play quarterback. Those are all my Super Bowl winning jerseys or All-Star jerseys. This blue one right here, that was from my first year playing football, uh, 6U. I was five, I won the Super Bowl. And the second one was my second year 6U. I was a lot better from the first year to the second year. I was six and we won that Super Bowl too. He's been around football since he was a baby. I was coaching youth football, so he's seen a lot of the high school athletes that I coached. And I guess that's what made him really, really like the game because he was around it so much. And when it was actually time for him to play, he was about five, and um, I asked him if he wanted to play. He said, yeah, and he's been with it ever since. We work out like five, four times a week in our garage because we have a, um, a weight set. We just work more strength, strengthening the arms, legs, total body. Him and his little brother work out together. His name is Jace. Jace just turned seven. He started playing football when he was five as well. Jace is a running back. A lot of the times I don't even have to be here. I write the workout down on the paper and they go do the workout. They definitely push each other. And once, once they get going, they work. They both work. It's, it's time to go. They know. It's no nonsense. Go. Hands up. Drop. Good. Corner here. Linebacker here. But the flow of the defense is coming back here. When we sell inside, come back out, all right? What I want people to notice about me is my quarterback smarts, and I want them to say that I'm the number one dual threat in the country. Say, go. <laughs> Good job. Speed kick or power kick? All right. Do a slow motion first. One day, me and my uh, dad and Snap my brother, we were riding our bikes, and we saw a garage door open, and they were doing karate. It was like, oh, look at that. That kind of looks cool. I think karate is something that teaches discipline. I think karate has made me a better football player because it worked on my abs more, and that's what I need to have a better um, strength on the ball, more power into it. When he was seven, that's when he started full-time quarterback, and now as he's got older, the coaches, they kind of don't want to let him play defense anymore. You know, I would always ask this quarterback coach, do you think he's really going to be a quarterback, though? Do you think he's really going to play that? Until you really, like, watch the tape and study it, and, you, and I'm sitting there looking, I'm like, man, he really can play this position. He's good. Like, the instincts are there. The the decision-making is there. He has a knack for for the game and, and, and that position. I like it because you like to control the field and tell everybody what to do. I usually lead them. I push them in practice. Don't let them stop any, any runs. Push-ups, I tell them to keep going. I would lead them to a Super Bowl. A typical day through quarantine is I wake up, brush my teeth, go do my classwork, log on at 10. We uh, check in with our teacher. She tells us what to do. We have our own computer, and we do it online, basically. Schoolwork is very important to me because if I don't have that, 
I'm not going to be able to make it to college ball, and if I don't make it to college ball, I can't make it to the NFL. Every Friday, me and my team and our coaches, we always have a Zoom. We go over some stuff, plays. We talk about everything, everything that happened in school, in our family, all that type of stuff. It's like we're brothers. I do miss playing football with my teammates because I just miss them and I miss the game of football, really. I was playing soccer before I ever played football. First year, I really wasn't that good. I'm clumsy, so I would always fall when I had the soccer ball. The soccer takes a lot of coordination. Once he started to train, the coordination got better, and then we just kicked it up a notch, and, and it, it, it took him to a whole new place. He was actually like an athlete, so he played receiver, quarterback, running back, and he played defensive back. Even in quarantine, the term no days off means the same thing for me. You can never stop the grind. You always gotta keep working. And my goal is to be better than I was last year. I think the sky's the limit. I, I would like to see um, him continue to progress, you know, get bigger, get stronger in, in, um, in his natural development and uh, develop him to being the best him that he can be. Coming up next. I when I first got with him, I knew it was something different about him with the way that he moved and his mindset. He was real determined. Backpedal. Wee. 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 Break. The kid's phenomenal. Great athlete, hard worker, understands the ins and outs of football. The catch. I like juking people out. He could be the whole team by himself. He can change direction with a blink of an eye, it's so fast. Most kids at 11 years old, they don't have them type of breaks, they don't have that type of movement until they're probably about 15. Jaden is a very fierce competitor. He hates to lose. His football IQ is well over his age group. Elusiveness and his explosiveness. This kid can run and he can break. He was always the one carrying the ball because every time he touched it, he would pretty much score. What keeps me working is I want to make it to the NFL. My name is Jaden. I'm 11 years old and I play football. Ready. Backpedal. Shuffle. Open up. Open up. Get up. High point, high point. Good, good, score, score, score. Good job, good job. I've been training Jaden for the last three and a half years. Let's go. And when I first got with him, I knew it was something different about him with the way that he moved and his mindset. He was real determined. I would say probably the first year, I noticed that he was different. Different from a lot of athletes, you know, the maturity. He understood, he did the right things. So if I tell him to fix something, he always fixed Great. it. Good job, good job. He always watching uh, sport. If you see him in his phone, that's what he'd be watching. Yeah. He'd have an iPad and he'd want to watch training videos and watch actual football. Just kind of grew. Coach DC is teaching me to be a better defensive back. So Coach DC, Dorian Crawford, he runs DC Athletics. That's his defensive back training. But he's also his mentor. He's the one who introduces him to pro guys, and they sit and talk to him and tell him, this is what you need to do. When you open it up, right, that full extension, right, turn and run, a few yards, look up. I want you to jump. The thing about work ethic is everybody's gonna work out, right? And some people's gonna say, I'm gonna outwork you. So they're gonna work out two or three times a day, right? Jaden, he will attack each workout like he didn't work out before. And that's what makes an athlete different because you don't wanna necessarily work out the same every single workout. Jaden, he has the ability, I do not know how he does it because I didn't get this trait until I was probably a senior in high school, a freshman in college. He attacks every workout just the same. No complaining, real quiet guy with a good personality. Go, come on, fast, move, there we go. As a coach, I try to put him in the right position to where he's gonna be successful. My program is six days a week. So as long as he's with me, continue to program, he's gonna prosper. I treat him like my child, so with him, I get the ups and downs. I get the, I don't want to work out sometimes. I get the mean look, because I get it. Kids are that way, you know. Sometimes they're hitting the miss, but for most part, he puts in the work, you know, it, it, it's grit and grimy. 
but he knows what it takes. Coach Mike is just like, you take some stuff out of Jaden. He brings the dog out of Jaden. He does the speed workouts. I know he loves football, but I find it that the kid can be a good athlete as far as a sprinter in the track world. What now I'm trying to keep from getting hurt. The game of football is pretty much a game of contact. It's pretty much you're lifting somebody to hit somebody to drive somebody to the ground. Why not prepare your son now at a young age to develop those muscles? It's a great program for him. Coming up next. I play the drums. I used to play the guitar, but now I just stay on drums. I play the drums, I used to play the guitar, but now I just stay on drums. When I'm not playing football, I, so I also like being creative. Yeah! He has his own clothing line called Highly Favored, and just basically it's a, a line that he came up with the name. <laughs> came up with the name because I was highly favored from God, a blessing. I started doing my clothing company when I saw other people doing it, so I wanted to start doing it. I tried it out, and a lot of people was wearing my merch. I mean, he's hands-on with it. He presses the shirt, he helps with the designs, yeah. and he helps with the yeah. marketing. I mean, he does everything. I think I might, have to, I might be able to fit the largest now. He's a good big brother, but he also is an annoying big brother, <laughs> so. Yes. When I play football, I go to the pool. Usually play with my sisters in the backyard. Probably play video games with my friends online. Play my mini basketball league. My goal for him is to um, be injury free, to continue to love what he's doing, and you know, and love love this because if he doesn't love it, it's just going to become. Um, just something that he goes and does and doesn't put his effort in it. And I see a lot of kids his age already there. I come from a really good family, great mom, great dad. College without a doubt is where I wanted to see him go. He's the leader. You know, he steps on the field, he, he demands respect, he demands to be known as, I'm that guy. And you got to compete with me. By work, I'm going to get there by working every day. Fast, fast, fast. Say go, shuffle, back pedal. Shuffle, back pedal, break. Good, good, good. Coming up next. I work out like fully, I say four times a week. And then the other days we watch film. I stay conditioned because we run a lot. But every, I throw every single day. My goal is to make it to the NFL. He gets in that, that zone. When he gets in that zone, man, he goes crazy. It's like he plays like mind games on the field. And it's he really understands where everyone is. I mean, every time he just touches the field, it's just like when you need him to come into the clutch, he's got it. He can scramble, he can read the defense. So when he makes those throws and you hear the crowd go, wow, like you just never get bored with his game. He just always keeps you on the toes. Knowing your opponent's move is almost like playing chess. If you know your opponent's move, you're going to have success. And that's kind of what he did. He knows his opponent's move. For him to be the leader, that's just like, it's a God-given talent. And it makes us a stronger team and all. I got everything. You need him to roll out, scramble, throw a pass. I mean, he got it. Like. He got the juice. <laughs> he really dedicates himself. He wants to be the greatest of all time. And as crazy as that sounds, I, I tell him, why not you? If that's what you want, chase it and make it happen. My name is Chad Michael Warner. I'm 13 years old and I play quarterback. So I wake up and I eat breakfast. You gotta eat right. Then I go to school. Seventh period, we have football. At five o'clock, we lift rates for like an hour. And I come home and throw, watch football, and then go to sleep and do the same thing the next day. I work out like fully, I say four times a week. And then the other days we watch film. I stay conditioned because we run a lot. But every I throw every single day. Uh, you can work on your drawback, work on your throw, work on your mechanics, and 
You can be like a pocket passer and just learn all your mechanics and throw the ball super good. You can be a mobile quarterback. You can throw the ball good, but not your best thing and run the ball a lot. Or you can be a dual threat. You can run and pass. And I'm a dual threat. I can run and pass. Whatever you want to do, just train at that until you get good and then move on to the next thing. My coach is my dad. He's my middle school coach and he's my little league coach too. He plays the game the right way. One thing I taught him is that you don't want people to say that you're good for your age. You're good. I said, be good. I said, if you're going to be a quarterback, be a quarterback. I mean, of course you can't throw the ball like Tom Brady does 80 yards, but you should look exactly like that within your realm. I think that's one thing we've always aimed for, perfection. Your footwork, your, your movement, your everything you do on the field, look like a quarterback. Not a great little league quarterback, not a great 13-year-old quarterback, be a great quarterback. And I think he really takes that to heart. And then summertime, every morning at work, I'd wake up and work out. Went to the local little park, and I set up little cone drills, and he was dropping and throwing the ball. And I noticed kind of in the far corner, there was a guy training the quarterback. So I'm kind of looking as well, you know what he's doing. He kept kind of staring at me. And Chad's going through all his drills. The guy walks up to me. I know he looks familiar. He said, hi, I'm Jeff Blake. He's I've been watching your son. I said, you know, I want to work with him. I love to train him and guide him. And that's been a blessing. Since then, he's always been a guy for Chad. Coming up next. All right, make sure you understand the X's and O's and understand what defenses are trying to do to you. The guy walks up to me. I know he looks familiar. He said, hi, I'm Jeff Blake. He said, I've been watching your son. I said, you know, I want to work with him. I love to train him and guide him. And that's been a blessing. Since then, he's always been a guy for Chad. All right, make sure you understand the X's and O's and understand what defenses are trying to do to you and how to protect yourself. And that's all part of playing quarterback. It's just not throwing the football. You understand that, right? Yes, sir. You know, because high school is different than middle school. You know, you're going to be playing with kids that are bigger, stronger, faster. You know, you got to start hitting that weight room a lot more. You know, you been in the weight room? Yes, sir, we have. So if someone tries to kill Chad's dream, it's kind of hard to do that. We have someone who's played in the NFL and had that kind of success, see something in you at a young age and believe in you, that it's hard to tell him no. I started playing football when I was four years old. We didn't have the desire to put him in football early on. I just thought he was too young. I mean, he was so young, he was four. I was like, he's too big for four. So I put him in football when he was in four for flag and Terry kind of was like, ah, oh, whatever. You know, we even went to Walmart to buy cleats because he wouldn't even allow us to buy him good cleats. But I told him, <laughs> like, you have to earn <laughs> the good stuff. So he went out in his Walmart cleats and he played his ball. Next year, he got some Cam Newton, man. <laughs> he, he earned it. But Chad himself was on YouTube and came across some highlights. And after watching, he went to the backyard and put his toys out and his buckets out and really was juking the buckets of the toys and kind of creating his own little drills. And I saw that he was going online every day and looking up drills and doing it on his own at four and five years old. And so after watching him do it over and over, I started to help him out. And kind of go out there with him and kind of guide him. And he kept getting better and better. And the buckets and toys turned into cones and ladders. And he just worked at it and the rest is history. He had a lot of athletic talent. But once he got nine, I think he fell in love with the game. He started watching football. I mean, I'd see him record the football games and watch them over and over and over again. He'd YouTube highlights, and that's literally all he did. If he wasn't watching football, he was playing Madden. And so he actually understood the game after that. And once he understood it, I think the game slowed down for him. So it kind of matched his talent with this, with the mindset, and it kind of put it all together. When we were in Nationals, that whole game, he was just diming us up, just giving us good passes and everything. In that game, he really showed his leadership that he could actually lead and not sit back. I mean, he got it. Like, Chaz QB1, he, he, he got everything. He got the juice. Show me your dance moves. Come on. Let's go in. He loves life. He loves, he loves his friends. He loves and life. And he'll tell you, it goes in there, it goes God, family, and then football. And that's what he lives by. He makes good decisions. Like he, and it's not because he's afraid. He just, he just has a really good heart. He's a good kid, and he always wants to do the right thing because he really sees the big picture. And I think that he just doesn't want anything to get in the way. And he's like laser focused. I want to go to OU because they always bring in the number one quarterback, and I'm the number one quarterback. I mean, if you got the grades, you can get a scholarship to OU. So I keep my grades up, and I play football. So ever since he was even little to now, it's just that he's got an agenda and he's gonna do it. So when he makes his mind up to do something, he's gonna do it. 
Like he wants to go to Oklahoma. He's like, you know, that's what I want. I'm gonna focus on it. If it doesn't happen, I'll go somewhere else and I'll take another journey there. Mm -hmm. Like he has like an old man soul, the way he approaches life. One of the biggest reasons why I play football is to hang around my brothers. When we win, we're all together. Yeah, we're, we're, we're obsessed pretty obsessed with, with football. football. Yeah. Say it's game time. Two seconds left, you trust your brother to make a play. They've been playing together for so long, that's the continuity. People wonder, well, what's the catch? It's not a catch. Yes, they're talented kids, but they work together. They, they encourage each other in a sense where it's not just one single person and, oh, I'm the best, and that's it. No, they all work with each other. Like, they play catch in the dark. Like, literally, I'll, I'll see Chad, look at Jalen, and make a head nod, he'll nod back, and they know exactly what he wants, and then he'll bam, he'll break, change the route, and he's deep, and such now. And they kind of have a, an alliance. Like they all want to make it. It's like, you know, we, it's, it's real, it's a togetherness thing. It's not me, not you, it's all of us. Uh, of course, I wanted to make it to the NFL, but if I don't, I just want to excel at what I do, and then see what else is up next. He knows right from wrong and he knows where he wants to go. So I know it sounds so biased, but I do see him going to OU. I do see him playing on Sundays. He knows that education needs to come first also. So everything that Chad Michaels told me he wants to do, there's hands down, I don't have a doubt in my mind, every one of his dreams are gonna come true. He's, he's so dedicated. I mean, he works endlessly. He's always working on his craft. His mechanics are great. If I tell him something, hey Chad, you did this, this wrong. 11 o'clock at night, let me show you how I fixed it. He wants to throw the ball to show me that he fixed it. So the dedication is what sets him, I think, over the top. Get away, get away. Sky's the limit. Maybe we'll play on Sundays one day. Today was just one day down for these future stars. Tomorrow, they'll be back at it again, working and training. Because when you want to be the best, there are no days off.